Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by the word velocity. You should then be able to explain why velocity is a vector quantity. And if you're a higher tier student, you should be able to explain why motion in a circle involves constant speed, but changing velocity. In the last video we saw that the speed of an object tells us the distance the object travelled in a given time. We calculate speed using this equation. The speed equals the distance travelled divided by the time taken. A key fact is that speed does not give us any idea of the direction of the journey. So that means that speed is a scalar quantity. Now in this video we're looking at velocity. The velocity of an object is its speed in a given direction. So if we state that an object travels at 20 meters per second, then we're stating its speed. However, if we state that an object travels at 20 meters per second south, then we're stating its velocity. So because velocity includes both magnitude and direction, velocity is a vector quantity. Now I should point out that we calculate the velocity in the same way that we calculate speed. But in the case of velocity, we also have to state the direction. So here's a typical question. A person walks in a straight line from point A to point B, covering a distance of 50 meters. This takes 40 seconds. Calculate the person's velocity. And I've given you a compass here which you'll need. So pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, so we calculate velocity in the same way that we calculate speed. The speed equals the distance divided by the time. Dividing 50 meters by 40 seconds gives us a speed of 1.25 meters per second. As you can see, the person's walking south, so the velocity is 1.25 meters per second south. Okay, if you're a foundation tier student, then you can stop watching now. However, higher tier students need to keep watching. Now, there is a special case of velocity, and that is for objects moving in a circle. I'm showing you here a car moving around a circular racetrack at a constant speed. The direction of the car is shown by the green arrow. As you can see, even though the car is moving with a constant speed, its direction is constantly changing. And this means that its velocity is constantly changing as well. So the key fact is that if an object moves at a constant speed in a circle, then its velocity is constantly changing, even though its speed is constant. And that also includes an object traveling around part of a circle, for example, moving around a corner. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on velocity in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.